Well, it's hot, it's muggy, so today's a good day to put the front splitter uh, I put on over a year ago through its paces. I've been meaning to do this video for a year and I thought, hey, today's a good day to do it. I got some time off to myself. And honestly, this is an item I get questioned on quite a bit. Even just an hour ago, someone asked me about this splitter. Um, no, it's a good little splitter. Make sure you get the one I have. So it, it, it bottom feeds, it still feeds your, um, your radiator. I was nervous putting it on because it, it is low but I've, I've scraped it and bumped it a few times and it has not broke. Like I said, over a year old and uh, my coolant temperatures have not changed at all. And actually this paired with foot extractors, my temperature of cruising stays about 200, 201. Before, oh geez, it'd easily be 215, 218. So yeah, if you wanna get a front splitter for um, aesthetics and actual downforce, good little product. So roll the intro, go for a little drive. Look at that car, 23 years old, gorgeous little car. I think it's gonna rain, guys, but it's okay. Let's go for a little drive. My little Mini Cooper. This car is, geez, what year is it? 15 years old. Now these things are a handful. Once you get them sorted out though, they're not too bad. And this is after one year being outside. I never painted this guy, this is how it comes from Amazon, I think, I don't know. Um, that, that's just bird shit. I did hit a little curb divider right there about a month after I got it, but it's still intact. And uh, yeah, not too bad. Let me get a little thumbnail here. Yeah, so I gotta fix this stupid hinge. Hear that? It's coming, I'll fix it. engages you can see the uh, coolant temp I got home an hour ago from work it's a little bit of heat soak a little bit so I'm kind of warm her up too much hope the GoPro is focused all right it's always a crap shoot but I will say today is 90 degrees it was a little warmer it cooled down a little bit it is 90 right now but um with the heat extractors even in this kind of heat, just stop and go traffic, it never gets, never goes above like 207. Uh, cruising, you'll see here, even getting on it, stays about 200 to 208. But yeah, so with the splitter, especially with the extractors, hopefully you can see them. Um, it's a, the cooling is definitely a non-issue. I need a shift boot, this one's all boogered up. I think I wanna get Alcantara. And I still gotta do the leather wrap the dash up here, which I have it in my garage. I need to do it. And then leather wrap the bezel around the radio. And then proper sound system finally. It never ends, man. You know? So cruising at highway speeds between 60 and 75, it stays about 199 to 202. Uh, even in, in really muggy, hot conditions.
get it. So you can see I've been hot dogging it pretty good. I'm at a standstill for about a minute now. I guess it's about 2.05, even in hot weather. So I'm sitting here, I'm like, why is there so much traffic? I'm like, oh yeah, it's rush hour. Even with the, the hood extractor and all the insulation I've done down here, my, my feet are still toasty. I, I drive barefoot, by the way. But yeah, they, they're pretty warm. It's just the nature of a C5, C6. Oh shit, go, go get him, get him. for what it is. Ooh, that clutch pedal is hot. Yeah, in case you don't know, the clutch pedal in the C5 and C6 is aluminum and it's attached pretty much right underneath your, uh, your block where it all connects up into the engine bay. So it transfers heat very well to your feet. Let me go. Thanks, buddy. But it's crazy, after all that, yeah, this wasn't a, a, a racetrack, but I was getting on it pretty good. Uh, even at idle, my fans are not kicking on, which is pretty impressive, you know, considering 90 degrees and uh, 30 minute little drive uh, of just, you know, keeping it above four or 5,000 RPM, not too bad. So, if you guys been waiting to get this little blip with a hood extractor, it's a no-brainer, and you know, keeps your uh, your C5 nice and cool. Oh, also, does anyone want a C8 exhaust? I cannot give it away. Holy cow! Please let me know. So, that's all I got for today, guys. See you guys next time. Take care. Mark out.